Close, guys. Thank you. Go ahead for questions. Darren, you guys were so good defensively all game. That that last drive, dis a little bit disappointing that they got that close, or it doesn't matter because you held, kept them out of the end zone? I mean, we kept them out of the end zone, but then again, we still want to, you know, hold them to uh, the minimum yards that they can get. So it was just a little mental uh, mistakes and bad coverages on our end, but there's nothing that we can't fix in the next game. Steven, is that as good a defensive game as you guys have played in a long time around here? I think we've been playing pr pretty good this year, but that might that may be our best. But you know that's not the best to come yet. You know we we still got five more games left, and everybody's gonna see how our defense you know roll back with this. Stephen, how do you explain an 0 for 14 third down they had? You can see one for 14, two for 14. How do you explain 0 for 14? Um, we we went out there, and we executed, and we uh, made Coach Mason's plays come alive. He put us in great positions, and we just executed. Did, what does it mean to get Coach Mason's first conference win? I mean, it means a lot. You know, um, last season wasn't as good as we planned it. You know, this year we had some, you know, some shakes in it. But, you know, to come out here and get our first SEC win for Coach Mason means a lot for us and him as well and the, and the university. So, you know, we just plan on keep moving forward, getting some more SEC wins. Andrew, you, the, for his first SEC win, you don't give up a touchdown. He's a defensive guy. Do you, mm -hmm. you kind of like, like that, that that's his first one ever? Oh, yeah, for sure. And definitely uh, coming out every game, we're going to come out with a mindset that we're going to dominate on defense. And uh, for us to go out there and, and execute the defense and play that way is it, big. So happy about that. Stephen? The, the, the way the game started, I'm sure everybody on your sideline felt like that was a fumble. You guys recovered it. Mm -hmm. Tough to play defense, or were you guys go out there mad at that moment? What was what was sort of the mindset? Uh, no, we just go out there and uh, have the mentality that we want to, you know, give the offense, give the offense the ball back. So uh, that's what we did, and you know, play style defense, and I think they came away with the uh, field goal. So, Stephen, do you look up at the at the video board during all that? I mean, you guys have to look up there and see how obvious um, the call was. Yeah, um, we were looking up. We thought it was a fumble uh, that is needed in touch before the ball came out, but then uh, we were told that it's for a progress stop. So. Me personally, I was excited to go out there and play some football. So it was our chance to go out there and, and just, just play ball. I want as many opportunities as possible to go out there and, and just play. So I mean, hey, it would have been nice to have it, but it's fine we play football. What happened on that sack? He, his helmet went flying off. What was he trying to kill that guy or something, man? <laughs> oh, um, uh, I was just trying to apply pressure and come back there and uh, flush him out the pocket. And uh, he ran into the teeth of our defense, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Herring. And, uh, and he hit him, so oh, okay. game tackle. Steven, with, the, with Kyle Shermer starting at quarterback, did you guys feel any extra burden to, to, to limit Missouri and, and give him a chance to feel more at ease in there? Um, no, we didn't feel any extra burden as a defense. Um, we, we knew at some point that it was going to be Kyle starting. We all had his back. And uh, coming out, we said, uh, you, you, you play your game, we're going to give you – as many possible, as many chances as possible to, to show what you have, and don't worry about messing up because if anything happens, we have your back, and we're going to go ahead and get the ball right back for you. So we try to make sure that everything was as simple as it could be for him with this being his first game. Two or three more questions. Andrew, they came in best defense in the conference, statistically speaking. You guys much better than them statistically today. What's that mean to you and this group personally? Uh, you know, it, it's good. It's good to uh, play the game and, you know, see results like that. Uh, we came into the game uh, knowing that it was going to be, you know, a defensive challenge. You know, they have a good, good defense. We have a good defense. And it's not supposed to come out on top and prove that, you know, we played a better defensive game this, this week. So. Chris, Darren, you had a stretch where they didn't have a first down for 40 minutes. <coughs> What's it like when it's just three and out, three and out, as, as far as you can see? I, mean, I think it feels good for the whole team, you know, especially the defense. We get the opportunity to get the offense the ball for them to move the uh, drive. It also gives us an opportunity to get to the sideline and get some rest and kind of go over the mistakes that we may have had in those series. So it, it feels really, real good to, you know, not let them uh, allow a first down for them. But, uh, you know, we just plan on keep progressing throughout the weeks and get better. Steven, is it possible to overstate the importance of one win for this team? Um, it's definitely a great win. Um, first SEC win for Coach Mason, but it's only the beginning. It's the first step. Um, you know, we just keep going up and we'll see where this thing takes us. Momentum's key. Fellas, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.